G'day, welcome back to another episode of Jazz Beer Reviews today. This week it's a beer. Now, uh, what have we got? It's the uh, Boat Rocker Stout. Now, uh, Boat Rocker Stout purchased this from Dan Murphy's. It was uh, around the five and a half, six dollar mark. And um, so it's a 375ml can and it's 6.1% uh, ABV. So, uh, we're looking for some information on it. I think it real odd what it says is our stout uses only the finest English malt and hops to give you a del deliciously balanced and hearty ale. Uh, it just says here, and then it says, best consumed at about eight degrees. Uh, we all, if you watch this channel, you know it. You shouldn't have your beer too cold, especially ales. Um, so yeah, one point eight standard drinks, uh, Victorian brewed. From what I can see, and down Melbourne, Brayside, Melbourne. Okay, so uh, I did go. Actually, the reason I went down Melbourne is I went looking for the Zyphos White Stout. I just can't remember who asked me about it. If I could review it, so I did have a look for it. I spoke to the uh, the manager, and he was saying that um, it's been deleted that line. So. Uh, yeah, we won't be seeing it again anytime soon, so so I was probably a bit slow on the ball there, but um, I did try and find it, and um, it was gone. Let's crack open this stout. Starting, well, it's autumn here now. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty. It has been good. Can't complain. We get those. Um, we get those southerly breezes down here. The east coast, southerly and easterlies are absolutely. Fantastic. So what have we got? Bit of sump oil there. Appearance pretty black. Head. Got one thing of um, tight white uh, mocha coloured head. That's to be expected. Yeah, yeah appearance is yeah, sump oil. The, the nose. Okay, so the nose smells pretty promising. It's uh, the nose matches the colour, it's very roasty. A bit of um, like light uh, milk chocolate aroma, milk chocolate powder, I suppose. You can imagine those cocoa powder, if you imagine those milk cocoa powder. And coffee. So, yeah, no, it, it smells, smells better, right? Let's uh, get into it. Big cheers is all. Okay, so really the nose um, matches the taste. Still getting that chocolate. And getting the coffee. It's obviously really roasty. Getting a bit of a smoke, smoky finish at the end, and it's got that bitterness, like a like a really What do I say? Espresso coffee. Espresso finish. Yeah. Okay, the, the mouthfeel is about, um, I'd say you say it's about between medium and, and heavy. It's between medium and heavy. I wouldn't say it's heavy though. It's definitely got uh, sweetness in there, matching all these flavours. It's sweet. So, flavour profile is pretty much bang on. There's no real complaints there. Uh, yeah, there's, no, there's no more battle I'm, I'm getting out of it, uh, but it's very solid. Um, obviously, session ability is out the window, you know maybe have one or two of these most likely if this they're probably um, they're probably not open to the public at the moment it actually says boat rocker brewers and distillers um, because uh, imagine this would be one of the ones you'd sample if you got a uh, 
<clears throat> yeah, you get the breweries, you get the sand, you get the four different, five different samples, whatever. This would be one you'd, you'd probably sample and go, oh, too bad. There's actually a brewery not far from me called Sanctus, and they do a stout. And I had a bit of a sample of my brother in law's. Yeah, it was good. And then a fly. A fly got in, got drunk. Bastard. It was really good. It was it better than this? I don't know. But anyway, back to Boat Rocker. I imagine you can't go to the brewery at the moment, so you can buy the can. Yeah, you can buy the six pack. Um, really more of a. I suppose in, in down Victoria, it's not cool. A bit more here now, anyway, so. Yeah, you could probably have one or two, but that's about it, I reckon. Or, or you could do a, uh, uh, what is it? Do a, uh, what is it? Dark and... Black and tan? Black and tan? I haven't done that for a long time. You could do that with this. That's for sure. Anyway, Boat Rocker Stout. Yeah, it's pretty solid. And I'll give this a score of an A- minus for Boat Rocker Stout. And uh, yeah, so well, thanks for uh, watching this episode of uh, Jez Brew Reviews. Uh, any more requests? Um, I'm willing to take requests on beers if I can find them. Um, had a request the other week that stone and wood beer had watermelon and mint in it. Oh, luckily, they didn't have that damn movie because I did have a look for it, but I couldn't see it. So. But yeah, I will take I will take requests if I can find. Normally, Dan Murphy's in my town is the only place I can find beer. So is that Dan Murphy's? There's probably a chance I can review it for you. Right, uh, till next time. I'll catch you later.